All right, I'm in the deer blind I built called the Rut Hut. Uh, there's some smaller oak saplings out, oak trees in front of me that the deer are spending a lot of time. Uh, there's a lot of rubs and scrapes. I've been looking forward to hunting in this blind, and this is, as I mentioned before, my first hunt of the season. And just kind of see how this goes. We got about 13 different bucks that have been frequenting the property. But I know that he's not opposed to either taking a nice doe uh, for some meat for the freezer. Uh, he is not a deer mate. If he's got an opportunity to harvest a deer and take some meat home with him for the freezer, uh, that would be great. And then it takes a little bit of the pressure off for him to really enjoy himself uh, the rest of the season on other properties that he hunts. That's a funny looking deer. Well, we're down to the last 45 minutes. Hopefully uh, something shows up here soon, even just to see, see a deer. Well, it's November 3rd. This will be my fifth hunt of the season. Uh, the rut's getting, <laughs> getting to be about in full swing here soon. Uh, last couple days I have seen some bucks chasing some does. I had a couple shot opportunities at smaller bucks. Just wasn't interested in letting an arrow fly. I got two bucks in mind that are going to be my target bucks this year and I'm hoping this evening I get a crack at one. It is nice to be out here though. I'm in the rut hut right now. This is literally only 200 yards behind the house. I mean the, the barn is right there, the garage, but on the side and behind me is a good stand of trees, mostly oak, some maple. I got food plots out in front here, but uh, mainly it's it's hunting on these these oak saplings. For uh, there's just a lot of a lot of scrapes on the ground around these. There has been now for two years. That's why I got this this hut positioned here. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Hey folks, uh, I'm on hunt number six of the year. Um, had many opportunities at does, a couple small bucks, but again, there's a target uh, buck I'm after. It's a nine point with this uh, split G2. Um, I have no idea what he'd score. He's just something that, that I'd be thrilled to get. So. That's kind of what I'm after. It's we're we're just coming on to the to the peak of the rut here. Uh, we're we're in the fourth of November. I mean, there was a buck in our backyard chasing a doe uh, when I was out here yesterday. A real small uh, fork buck, a spike buck. But anyway, it's the rut's here. So I'm gonna give her another go this evening and see how it goes. You know, of all the woodchucks I'm seeing were deer. This might be a little more exciting hunt. All right, folks, hunt number seven. I'm heading out to a different blind this afternoon. This is one that I call the burr box. We'll see if anything comes through tonight that's got some respectable headgear. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so here's my 2021 buck on Schick Road. Uh, this is one of my target bucks this year, and we're two days into the gun season, and just about ran out of time, and he showed up, and I was fortunate enough to harvest him. Very proud of this buck, and he will be going on the wall, I believe, if I can get the better half to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs>